it's the middle of summer and it's interesting because these fish can be anywhere. It's, you know, it, 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 a lot of it can be determined by water color. People think they drive deep in the summer, but man, you get green color, algae bloom or anything can push them up because it's available light and you just really, really, especially this time of year, you have to let them tell you what to do. You know, we could start a little deep and work up or it could be the converse of that, but either way, like anything, you got to let them tell you what to do because it can be game on this time of year. It's a great time of year to fish. The Humminbird units, we've got the Helix Gen 2, come with a feature called Auto Chart Live, which allows you to create your own lake maps. But in addition to creating contour lines on the lake so you know how deep it is, there are some overlay options and a very useful one for Dan and I today, this lake isn't mapped so you can see I'm driving around, is the vegetation overlay. So if you take a look here, you'll see the green spots. Those are where it's those dense mats that we're flipping. And this is a really cool spot here because when I drove over it, I noticed there's rocks in between. So we've got two weed beds with a deep rock saddle in between those. So what a really cool feature to have to be able to identify where the weeds are and where they're not actually, because in a lot of cases where those weeds aren't, it makes a great edge and often it's hard bottom and this time of year, the fish can be there. So if you've got a unit that does auto chart live, it does more than just record depth contours. You can overlay vegetation and also the bottom hardness. There's one. Get in there, Dan. Oh, that is sweet. Man, that's sweet. Unbelievable. How powerful that is. It's amazing how you can pick up line so quickly. Look at that stick, huh? This is what we're averaging this morning, pretty much. It's a good average, huh? I love those. And now we're starting to get into uh, a little heavier cover, you can see over here we've got some dense mats and what you see a lot of times in low light conditions, for example, if it was a gray overcast day, you'd find a lot of the fish on the edge. And right now as the sun starts to make its way up into the sky, you'll see the fish move from that edge and they'll start pushing into that thick cover when it's bright and sunny and that's when we'll have to go in with the heavier weights and uh, crack on them. But right now it's kind of right on that edge. So.